Hi, welcome back to Joe Man's Land, and yes, you're in the fridge. You came for a lens review, but I'm hungry. We're gonna make some tuna steaks, and I'm not gonna film it with the lens, but I will mention the lens, because for some reason it's also in the fridge. Today we'll be doing a review of the M42 mount Chinon 50mm f1.7 vintage SLR lens. There are no good videos about this. Well, all right, I shouldn't criticize my YouTube brothers and sisters in arms, but there aren't really any comprehensive views of this lens from what I've seen where people really talk about it. I know that Chinon was started in the 1940s and went out of business in 2004. Aside from that, there's not a lot of good info on this lens. So either way, we're gonna go out, we're gonna put it on the Nikon Z6, we'll film with it, we'll take photos with it, and we'll see whether or not this $50 lens is usable as a conversion lens on a mirrorless camera. Let's get out there, we're gonna start with cooking, and then we'll put out some relevant content after that. Let's go. All right, so you guys can see the lens here and a bag of tuna steaks. This has got nothing to do with that. I am sorry, but we are gonna start with this. So now we're outside, I'm done eating. I'm still kind of hungry, that tuna, well, I know I made it look super tasty with the video I just shot, but it really wasn't that good. Anyways, that's fine, we're gonna go out, we're gonna shoot with the Chinon lens. It is nighttime, so I really think that a 1.7 should be able to do well in low light, so that's why we're going out to shoot right now. Downtown Calgary, it's not that cold, it's only minus eight. Oh, I need to go this way. I went the wrong way, that's okay. And. Thank you, I love you too. Someone just said I love you. That's... This lens is a 1.7, but it's a it's probably from like the 1980s, 1970s. Guys, if you know the year that this lens came out, please comment below. Um, but yeah, we're gonna stop it down to probably around 2, 2.1, so that way then it's not super, super soft. People are always like, oh, vintage lenses are nice and soft, which they are, but we're gonna stop it down so it's not that soft. All right, we're gonna switch lenses. Now all the video and photo you will see is with that vintage lens. Let's go. But guys, how does it look for vlogging? Do you like how this looks? I'm vlogging with a 50 mil lens. No one does that. Final thoughts. First final thought, the best place to shoot an outro for YouTube video is a nice snowy place because it makes you keep it quick. It's an M42 mount, right? Meaning it's one of these screw on lenses, right? So meaning it's not the most secure lens, right? So if you're outdoor shooting and it might be raining a bit, keep in mind some of that rain might get into your camera sensor. M42 N to Z mount I got off Amazon. It's a K and F concept. I think one of the great things about film lenses is that they're, that they're super affordable. You'll find them at garage sales. You'll find them at farmer's markets. They're everywhere. People are just getting rid of these things. And you know, for 30 to 50 bucks, you know, you can get a pretty awesome lens. And these lenses where they really, really shine is people photography. My girlfriend and I love taking pictures together all the time, but we both find that the uh, autofocus lenses like this Z 35 millimeter, review above my left finger here, is sometimes just a little bit too sharp for people faces, right? So a lens like this is a bit softer, a bit more neutral, and for people, it can be a really, really great 
option. Also, I thought it was kind of fun shooting it as a uh, vlogging lens, right? I usually vlog because it's 35 millimeter, which is already pretty tight on my face. So I wondered what, what, what would it look like if I used a 50 mil, not just a 50 mil, but a manual 50 mil. But I think for run and gun, this lens is really usable. And I actually shot most of what I did tonight wide open at 1.7. And it's a little soft, right? Like I, I wouldn't want to use this for like a client video shoot, but for doing photos, I think it's great in a pinch. And I really like how smooth the action is on the uh, focus wheel but again the one thing it's just it's too long of a focus turn right like if I'm trying to get something different in focus it takes like nine years if I'm trying to get something in the foreground to something that's in the background but guys that wraps up today's video I hope you enjoyed it this wasn't my first time shooting with this lens so that's why I feel pretty confident what I'm talking about even though I haven't edited the video or photos yet I think it's great. Tell me what you think below. I know there's not a lot of great videos out on this lens and trying to find out the year this thing came out or even a lot of its origin information was almost impossible. You can definitely find a lot of cheat on glass when you go to farmer's markets and places like that for super cheap. So definitely accessible, really great for beginners. And you know, even for someone like me that's been shooting for years, I still get a kick out of this lens. Anyways guys, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. I don't know what will be in the intro next time. Maybe guitar, maybe nothing, but probably not cooking. See you guys soon.